Hi guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share with you a quick look at a wig that is extremely popular in a very popular color. This that I'm going to share with you is Beltress's Amaretto in the color British Milk Tea. Now, if you've been watching my channel or watching any of my wig reviews, you know that I like one of my favorite shades is a color called Shaded Cappuccino from the Raquel Welch line. Well, Beltress came out with Brown Sugar Sweet Cream, which is very, very close to the Shaded Cappuccino color that I absolutely love. So I have um, been fortunate enough to be able to review this wig that I have on my head, which was gifted to me from Wig Studio One. This is Intensity by Beltress in the color that's perfect for me, I think, Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. I love this color. I actually, at first I thought this was a little bit short, um, but I love the spiky short layers that this wig has. So anyways, I loved it. I love the color and I was so curious to see British Milk Tea because that has been all the rage. So my sweet, sweet friend Marlene from Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio, we, did, we do every now and then we do sort of like wig exchange. She'll send me something for review. I sent her. Uh, not as many as she sent me, but and and then we can take a look at it. We can try different styles, different colors to see how we would like that style in that color. So recently, Marlene sent me a few wigs, and they were um, the two bell tress. I've already. I'm not sure when this will be published. Which one will come first? But I reviewed Lady Latte. You might see that in an upcoming video, or perhaps this is first. Um, in British Milk Tea, and I wanted to see how it compared. She also sent me Amaretto, which is a longer, curlier style in British Milk Tea. So Amaretto having the layers kind of reminded me of a longer version of um, probably one of my favorite wigs is Editor's Pick, again from Raquel Welch. But the layers are much longer in the whole volume. The hair is much longer, and I don't do well in long hair. I, I really don't. I think that it tends to drag my face down more and things of that nature, but I wanted to see this color. So this color that I have in my hands is Beltress British Milk Tea. And on my head is Beltress Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. Brown Sugar Sweet Tea Cream is a little bit of um, a warmer color, I believe. And this is, um, even though it's cool, it's, to me it's cool. It tends to be a little bit more blonder looking with less of the ashier tones. This to me pulls a lot of ash. So I'm gonna put this on my head, but first I'm gonna show you the inside of the cap. So it has a, and I think Beltrust does a great job on their lace fronts. Absolutely great job. It has a um, temple to temple lace front, as you can see here, and then it has a part so the part is not going to give you the option to part on either side, but it's a decently wide part so you can have a little bit of a zigzag if you so choose, move it around a little bit. I am not a fan of the straight part line. I like a little bit of a zigzag, and I'm not talking the zigzag the way the wigs come, but just more of a messier part line than that straight line. It also has a stretchy cap. There is some permatease. You're going to have to have that permatease. You're going to need it to have a shape, a body to the wig. This is a longer style for me, probably the longest that I would ever really consider wearing. But um, you have the bra strap adjusters for the ear tabs and not the ear tabs, the bra strap adjusters to make it, cinch it in a little bit if you need. I definitely need to cinch these in. Beltrust for some reason, this and the and, uh, Lady Latte, Latte is, runs a little big on me and I'm not too sure why. So I'm gonna slip this on my head so you can see and you can compare the colors and you can just see the different style. I'll take this off and I will be right back. I have to look in the mirror to adjust this because I wanna make sure that I have the wig pushed back far enough, but not too far back. Um, and I know when you suffer from hair loss, it's, it's sometimes, especially if, you, if your hair loss is by your temple, by your forehead, it's hard to judge 
you know, where your natural hairline. Most people will say it's four fingers up, but it really all depends on your forehead. So you want to make sure that you cinch this in, you, you position it in the right spot because there's nothing worse than a wig that sits halfway back and it just doesn't look natural when it's that far back or if it's too low depending on your natural hairline or you know your where where your hair um your temple you know the hair along your temple would be so you should always measure that so you have a good idea as to where it would be now this wig again this was sent to me from Marlene Fab and Glam this is heat friendly fibers Whenever you have a heat friendly fiber, you want to make sure if you are going to comb it that you use a wide tooth comb. You have to be very careful with the fibers. I happen to prefer heat friendly fibers because I think they look way more realistic in my opinion. They're usually not as shiny and uh, yeah, they're, they're usually pretty interesting. So this is British Milk Tea <laughs> and I'll turn so you can see the back. If I were to um, keep this, right, because this is, this is sort of a wig exchange with Marlene, so it's going to go back. But if I were to keep this, I would very gently cut in layers around my face. I would frame some layers around my face because the long look for me is just not a super good look. So I would take, I would also, if I was going to wear this, I would probably clip this back. I would probably even clip it up in a clip and I don't have a clip with me but there's many different styling options that you can you can use I would also probably put a little bit of a sea salt spray in it to texture it up a little bit more because I don't want the just out of the salon look I prefer my my styles my wigs my hair to be more like my bio hair would be messy so I've never had perfect hair. I've never had that perfect, I just came from the hairdresser's look. In fact, when I do go to the hairdressers and I have my hair touched up, I usually mess it up as soon as I can because I don't like that perfect look. And, and, and I know I've said it before, to me, um, that super perfect look doesn't look realistic. Just like if you have a wig that's super shiny, it does not look realistic. So the heat friendly fibers are not, this is not at all shiny. This has some tons of, shi of um, I think, styling options. But for me personally, I, it's just a little bit too long for my comfort zone. So I think it's beautiful. I have a nine inch from my temple to my chin. I have a 22 inch circumference. This runs a little big on me. I had to cinch it in, which I was really surprised at. And I'm going to hold the short one up. This is, again, bell truss, but just different colors, right? They're pretty close. They're pretty close. But I prefer the brown sugar sweet cream over the British milk tea. So anyways, thank you, Marlene Fab and Glam, Marlene Wig and Chat Studio, for giving me the opportunity to take a look at this and share this with you guys. Because, you know, Marlene has completely different complexion than I do. Um, my skin is, is light. I have a very um, sort of, I'm, I probably lean more towards neutral in my skin tone. It's not warm, it's not super cool, but I lean towards neutral and more cooler colors. And so certain shades look better on me uh, than they might on Marlene, and certain shades look way better on her than they do on me. So I do think it's good. I'll link Marlene's review so you can see this exact same wig on her and you can kind of compare this look but this is amaretto very popular style by beltress beautiful wig beautiful color just may not be for me but it is a beautiful wig and a beautiful color so i wanted to share that with you so you could see how this look i want and superimpose some outside shots right now um so you can see what it looks like as i'm walking around my yard it looks really pretty I think it looks really pretty. I like it a whole lot. And uh, I hope you enjoy this review. Please, if you're new to my channel, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, and a comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.